Okay, guys, I've literally just opened up the exam um, on this grey Monday, the 13th of June. Um, so let's see what you have to do today. Uh, okay. The table below gives some details on the number of different types of of student in a university. There are 22,714 students in the university in total. Fill in the missing values to complete the table above. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Um, the total here has to be 8576. So it's 8576 minus 2922. So that's 5654. And then total down here, 12785 plus 1353. That's one four one three eight, and likewise two two seven one four minus one five seven zero oh, seven, so that's seven thousand and seven. And you can check that that's right because these two should add up to that, and these two should add up to it as well. So let's double check one four one three eight plus eight five seven six two two seven one four one five seven zero oh, seven plus seven zero oh, oh, seven two two seven one four. Fill in the three missing values to complete the table. Okay, um, that's done. One student is picked at random from the, un uh, the students in the university. Let O be the event that the student is 25 years old or older. Let U be the event that the student is an undergraduate. Are the events O and U independent? Well, we can check for independence by calculating the probability of O and U. And see if we get the same as calculating the probability of O times the probability of U. So O is that 24 years or older and U is an undergrad. So 24 or older and an undergrad, that's 2922 over the total, 22714. That's 0 0.1286, etc. And then this one here, um, how many older students are there? 8576 out of total, 22714 times, and then undergrads. Oh, no, that's, I have to be careful. Uh, yeah, 24 or older. Okay, and undergrads is 15707 over 22714. That's 0 0.2610, oh, da, 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 da. so no, they're not independent because the probability of being older and an undergrad does not equal the probability of being older times the probability of being an undergrad. Let me just double check the numbers. So the totals go on the bottom here. Um, 24 years. 24 years or older, let you be the undergrad. Oh, 24 or older, these are 24 and older. So, and being an undergrad. So that's, yeah, that's that number there. And then this one here, just older, there's 8,576 older students and undergrads is 15,707. Yeah, I think I did that right. Um, three people are picked at random from a class. Find the probability that all three were born on the same day of the week. Assume that the probability of born on each day is the same. So I've seen this one in the book before. Um, the first person could be born on any day. So that's a 7 in 7 chance. Um, the second person needs to be born on the same day as the first person. So that's a 1 in 7. And the third person needs to be born at the same day as well. So that's a 1 in 7. So that's 1 in 49. Yeah, 1 in 49. So the first person, Anne, can be born on any day of the week. Then Barry has to match her and then Charlie has to match her. So 1 in 49. There are B boys and G girls in the class. Three-fifths of the students in the class are girls. Four boys and four girls join the class. One student is then picked at random from the whole class. Find probably that the student 
The probability that the student is the girl now is four and seven. Find B and G. Okay, so there's B boys and G girls in a class. And three fifths of the students in the class are girls. So that means girls over boys plus girls is three fifths. Um, four boys and four girls join the class. One student is then picked and random from the whole class. The probability that the student is now a girl is four sevenths. So the, it's now four sevenths and there's an extra four. So adding four to both of those would be B plus G plus eight. So it's a simultaneous problem. You cross multiply, you get 5G equals 3B plus 3G. So that's 2G minus 3B equals zero. That's one equation. And then cross in here, that's 7G plus 28 equals 4B plus 4G plus 32. So that's uh, four, 7G minus 4G is 3G minus 4B. Okay, 7 minus 4 is 3. Take the 4 to the left and then 32 minus 28 is 4. So that's my two equations that I just have to solve. Um, kind of, I've left myself not much space. Uh, multiply this, this by three and this by two. So now I have six G minus nine B equals zero and six G minus eight B equals eight. If I subtract these, they cancel. Minus nine minus minus eight is minus B equals minus eight. Oh, so B is eight. And if I sub 8 back into there, uh, G is 3B over 2. 3B, 24, divided by 2 is 12. So G is 12. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we can check the answer. So at the beginning, are 3 fifths the students in the class girls? Well, there's 20 students, and 3 fifths of 20 is 12. Yeah, that checks out. And then you add four of each, and now it's at four sevenths. So 17 over 24. Um, sorry. I typed that in wrong. You get four of each. So that's 16 over, now there's 28. Yeah, four sevenths. Okay, so that's question one done. Um. Hopefully I didn't make any mistake, you know, takes a minute or two to ease into an exam. Any problems, just let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. And uh, let's get looking at number two now.